Come on, you big strong man. <laughs> so for our record, round one, um, which was meant to be happening quite soon, we chatted with uh, Zwift and doing a series of training rides, which will happen for round two. And the kind folk at Elite, who sponsor Israel Startup Nation, um, sent me this, along with a mat. We've got a mat as well. So this is what I'll be doing all my swifting on this winter. What's in the box? Mm -hmm. European and British plug. I'd love to help, but I won't. It's upside down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Elite was the first smart tur turbo trainer I ever had. Um, they sponsored uh, Movistar, and when Zwift was in its inception, uh, the kind folk there set me up and yeah and this is the same name I think the Doretto and this is this is the latest one so pretty pretty keen to get it set up and uh, see what the go is. Instructions? Don't need them. A classic gals at trait. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that she's a monster. Oh that's good. Usually every turbo trainer I've ever been sent has never come with a cassette, but this one does. Look at that. It's big. One more time. Oh, close up, close up. <laughs> No, I should have done. Read the instructions? Probably. It's a, it's a classic Darset trait, I say, because when we were setting up furniture in our European base, most of it had come from Ikea, and Alex's parents had very kindly come out with us. And <laughs> Phil Dowsett, the man, the myth, the legend, took one look at the instructions, threw them behind his shoulder, said, don't need these. It's pretty self-explanatory. And uh, about, well, 40 minutes into building the sofa, what do we need? The instructions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. This is handy. They've thrown in adapters to go either through axle or uh, quick release. And given that my TT bike is quick release and my road bike is through axle, and I do use both on the on the turbo trainer, that's going to be handy. So. Quite excited to get going because we're not at altitude anymore. Although, hilariously, the last turbo training session I did before I got my uh, positive COVID result back, went into a swift race and just wasn't, it was like 320 watts that I was, I was like, this is really hard. Like, it was another like bad day. And uh, afterwards I said to uh, my coach, Hutch, or one of my coaches, I was like, it just, it, made, it just didn't feel, it actually felt like I was back at altitude, but clearly I'm not. And he said one of the ways that COVID attacks the body is through the respiratory system. So to be trying to race at um, sea level with COVID would feel very similar to trying to race at altitude. Um, just I was like, rolling out the altitude excuses. <laughs> I'm back down to sea level and I'm still being hit with altitude-esque <laughs> sensations. <laughs> oh, where this plugs in. You know what would have told you where it was then? Maybe the instruction. Should get that instruction manual. There we go. Oh. oh, there's another. I don't know what the other output's for. You know what would have told you what the other output's for? <laughs> <laughs> the instructions. Well, well, well. Looks like the instructions have come out. <laughs> I just want to get this bit right. Well, I want to get the whole lot right, but I want to get this bit right because it's easy to um, get uh, put the wrong wrong things in the wrong holes. Yeah. 
little golden piece of information I just picked up from the instruction manual. Manual. Look at this. Little little cable tidy. With your hands, can't see. Oh. I guess that's to stop it just being pulled out. Handy. Okay, this is far simpler than I imagined. Um, That goes in there, and that goes in there, and now that's set up for quick release. And there we go, job done. Um, I'm still in like off season, like COVID season, so. I'm, uh, I won't be, I'm not going to ride it today, but maybe tomorrow and we'll let, let you know how she goes, but thank you to Elite for hooking us up.